why it's now we're not going to do game two my run of Jeopardy for the uh, PlayStation 2. Now the uh, first game I had a, bit of, had a nice start but then a not so nice second half and that resulted in me winning only $3,600. We'll see if we can add to that in this game. Now you're probably wondering why we're starting on the pause screen. Well, I had started to record this, but unfortunately I was interrupted after just one question. So, uh, which I uh, do apologize for. So, uh, the, uh, the first uh, question was $200 a days of the week, Crusoe's companion, and the correct response was, was Friday, which no one got. All right, so let's go. Days of the week for 400. Morning for an armchair quarterback with 2020 hindsight. What is Monday? Correct. Days of the week, 600. Special night for an easily obtained and hidden handgun. What we were looking for was what is this. Saturday. Days of the week, 800. Bloody day in a U2 song title. What is Sunday? Right you are. Days of the week, a thousand. Days Mitch Albom spent with Maury. What is Tuesday? What are Tuesdays? Right, pick again. Slogan's 200. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. What are M&M's? Yes. Slogan's 400. Quality is job one. Oh. What is the Ford Motor Company? Yes. Oh, I knew that, but it wasn't fast enough. Player two, what'll it be? Slogans for 600? Be all that you can be. Take a look. Here's so the, right the U.S. Army. Player two, you're still in control of the board. Slogans for 800. Just do it. What is Nike? Exactly. Slogan's a thousand. Answer. Answer there, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. Let's now. go for 2,000. Okay, here's the clue. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, what is... Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have risked that much. I don't know. No, nope, that's not right. Sorry. Here's what we were looking for. The United Negro College Fund. Uh, should not have risked that much. The buck stops here for 200 A $10 bill. Was a saw buck. Right, pick again. Buck stops here, 400 In commercials, the crash test dummies urge us to do this. Don't be a dummy. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking for was Let's this. Buckle up. Wow. Buck stops here, 600. It's slang for a bronco busting cowboy. What is a buckaroo? 
Correct. Player three, it's your turn. The buck stops here for 800. This member of Fleetwood Mac had his own solo top 10 hit in 1981 with Trouble. Was Buck Rogers? Okay, uh... Gonna be wrong. Good guess. <sighs> this is what we wanted. Lindsay Buckingham. The buck stops here for a thousand. This is the nickname of Ohio State's sports. Who are the Buckeyes? Who are the Buckeyes? Very good. Over to you, player one. Street Smarts 200. It's the stately street where the U.S. president lives. What is Pennsylvania Avenue? Well done, yes. Street Smarts 400. In this European city, the locals call the Boulevard Saint-Michel the Boule Miche, for short. What is Paris? Very good. Street Smarts for six. This Manhattan Avenue has long been synonymous with the advertising industry. Fifth Avenue? I'm going to say 5th Avenue. Uh, I'm down to 1600. What we were looking for was... Madison the... Avenue. Oh. Street Smart hey, 800. Still player one. The Garden State Parkway passes by Paramus and Passaic in this state. What is New Jersey? Very good. You pick again. Street smarts for a thousand. In 1775, Daniel Boone blazed this road through the Cumberland Gap. Nobody? What we were looking for was this. It was the Wilderness Road. This Boston native played Mr. Spock. It was Leonard Nimoy. Precisely. They hail from Boston 4. This disco queen had us all dancing in the 70s with I Love You, I Feel Love, and love to love your baby.
Here's what we were looking for. Who is Donna Summer? This West Point washout and author of The Raven was born in Boston in 1809. Who is Edgar Allan Poe? Right you are. 800. Born in Boston in 1931, she was the first female to co-anchor a regular nightly network newscast. Anyone at all? What we were looking for was this. Who is Barbara Walters? A one-time Unitarian pastor, he transcended with works like Nature and the American Scholar. Here's what we were looking for. Ralph Wado Emerson. You're still in control of Real the Real History 200. This city's Circus Maximus Hippodrome could hold 250,000 people about one-fourth of its population. This is what we wanted. It was Rome. 400. From 434 to 445, Bleda ruled the Huns jointly with this man, his brother. Who is Attila? Precisely. 600. Early Lydian coins were made from electrum, an alloy of silver and this other precious metal. What is... What is copper? Okay, no, it looks like that's not right. Okay, what is gold? Pick again. Good thing I changed my answer. 800. This highest civil office of old Venice originated in the 7th century and got its first palace in 814. What we were looking for was this. All right, last clue. And in this round, our final answer... Under this Latin name, the island once called Albion went on to rule the waves. Anyone? What we were looking for was this. Britannia. All right, that's it for the Jeopardy round. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. The Jeopardy round that unfortunately is good. Be uh, incomplete because of the uh, interruption I had, but nonetheless, I finish up the round at 4,200. Player two is at 400 and in third place, so player two is going to go first in double jeopardy.